Lou, what do you think the biggest reason was that you couldn't uh, couldn't win? Or didn't um, win, say? There was a lot of a lot of reasons that went into it, and we could have won. We didn't win. We definitely could have won. Um, little things hurt us again. Missed free throws, turnovers. Same story with that stuff. Um, you know, the challenge going into the night was mentally, let's bring it again after a, a, ment a, a draining game that we had in, in Oakland last night. And I felt like, you know, they were ready to give us that game. And we were not ready or willing to take it and at least do the things that are uh, required to win NBA basketball games. And when, when you leave it up like that, anything can happen. Um... I learned uh, some new. It's it's fun every night. I, I hear different rules of what what's fa what's a foul, what's not a foul. I I got a technical tonight. I, I didn't know that if you try to draw a charge, and you flop, that the flop is a defensive foul. I thought it was just a no call. Uh, I guess I was wrong on that. Uh, there's a couple KCP. I got you know, James Harden shot 20 free throws doing the same thing against us and. Uh, Zoe, Zoe gets his shoulder ripped, and, it, you know, it's frustrating. Uh, you know, we're trying to teach this young team how to play and what to do and do it properly, and it's it just feels like every night it's a it's a different excuse on why we're not getting calls and what the what the definition of verticality is. And, um, you know, Kuzma got – he shot a three late in the game, and I'm sitting there watching, and his whole shooting arm gets hit. He can't even follow through. We're up one. That's – Three free throws, maybe we win that way. So again, we could have won the game. Now it's it's you know not their 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 fault because we 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 definitely did our part and didn't do enough on our end to take it out of the their hands. But um, frustrating because that's another one. Uh, it's another game that is in the lost call, column that we could have won. Now, the difference is earlier in the year, I was telling our guys, it doesn't matter if we win or lose, it's how we're playing. It's building our habits. Uh, but I told them today, they've set they've set a, a expectation and a standard for themselves that I now believe they are ready to win ball games. And uh, I thought tonight was one that, uh, you know, we let get away from us. So uh, it's frustrating, but we... Uh, you know, we'll we'll see how uh, see how we bounce back on uh, on Christmas. Luke, they went on an eight zero run to close that third quarter. Um, how much of that do you think was the turning point in the game? It was huge, and I, that was one of my talking points in there. I said that the games have they take on their own. Each game takes on their own life, and there's momentum. This is real in basketball, where one play affects the next play, and one pass within that play affects how the shooter makes or misses. And we went up eight. We got the stop with AC making a great defensive play in the post. And right at that moment, Harkless outworked all of our guys. We had three guys in the paint, and he just went down and took it and laid it back up. So instead of us getting a paint stop where we can get out and run, maybe push it to 10 late in the third and go into the fourth with a 10, 12-point lead, they put it back in, cut it to six, get a couple stops, and now it's an even ball game. So just like that one play, um, you know, sw you know, shifts momentum to their side, and then they they take a, a lead in the fourth, and now we're trying to scrap and crawl our way back into it because we weren't willing to get dirty and, and grab a, a loose ball. Luke Rayer, how, how much do you think this officiating stuff that you mentioned, you know, even going back a few games, how much of that is just these guys are young, they're rookies, so they're not getting calls. What do you do? You think that's it? Some of it, yeah. But then I was told in Golden State that we, that they don't look at jersey. They don't look. They don't look at names on jerseys. They only call what they see. So if that's the case, that shouldn't be an excuse for it. Um, so I don't know. It's again. I I'm getting different answers every night. So I don't. I don't know the answer to that. Hey Luke, what did what did you want on the play out of the timeout where Kyle had the ball at the top of the key? Because it looked like he was starting to milk the clock, and then he went and then yeah, yeah, we're not it. trying to milk the clock there. So the play was the first option was KCP uh, coming around the shooter side, uh, and they played that well. And after Julius set that rip screen, the only way to take that away is if Julius's man helps on uh, on KCP. So now Julius flips that screen to Kuz, 
and there's no help there to bring Kuz to the top of the key. Um, and I think Kuz got a little excited. He, he came up a, a little quick, so Julius hadn't got back around yet to set that screen. But he's it's supposed to be a catch-and-shoot play for Kuz at the top of the key there. Same sort of question for the for the final play. What's the thought process in terms of deciding who you're going to have on the floor for a moment like that? Um, you're talking about the very last shot for KCP? Um, well, normally the guys that have been in the game, um, you know, they they – each one of them can make shots. Um, KCP is, uh, you know, although struggling with his shot the last two games, has a, you know, he's got some years of making big, big game winning shots. He hit a big tying shot up in Portland for us. So, um, you know, we I like leaving one, at least one big in to set solid screens, and then you got shooters spaced around, and we got a we got a really clean look, and I think KCP makes that most nights. Um, you know, it's. it's all you can ask for, and he just didn't drop down for us tonight. How did Brandon's absence affect the rotation tonight? Um, it affected a lot because Brandon, uh, we've been playing Brandon at multiple positions. He's been playing backup four. He's been playing three. We use him to handle, to get Zoe off the ball a little bit. So going in, I, you know, I told the guys, look, we got to be ready. We got to be professionals. Um, we're going to have different lineups tonight and different people are going to get chances to play. We played, you know, a lot of these guys played 35 to 40 minutes last night. We're going to be tired and it's our job to be ready. And I didn't think we did a good job of that. I thought guys on our bench were pouting. Um, I thought that there was too much feeling sorry for ourselves uh, as opposed to uh, being professionals and, and the main thing that we do is always about our team and about uh, what's best for the team. How do we win as a team? And I, and our guys have been great at that all year long. So, uh, you know, I just didn't think we were very in, in character tonight. For Maybe it was fatigue from this tough stretch we went through. I don't know. But we just didn't seem to be ourselves. Coach, is it, uh, you think, just because of the last two weeks playing all these tough uh, opponents, maybe they let their guard down a little bit. Damian Lillard wasn't in the game as well. Does you think that happens to a young team like that? Uh, possibly a little bit. Uh, I think more so we we're just mentally tired, uh, which isn't an excuse. It's we got. You, I mean, a lot of the NBA. There's going to be a lot of nights where you're mentally tired. Uh, you know, I, I would hope that we wouldn't let our guard down because we think we're better than other teams because we're playing some good teams in close games. Uh, that should not be our mindset at all. Uh, and I don't think it is for our guys. I think it was more just uh, the emotional and physical drain of the, uh, the part of this part of the schedule that we've been going through. Look, when you say pouting, were you pouting because they weren't playing or pouting? I don't know. Because, it, yeah. just, it, felt, it just didn't feel like our normal group. We didn't have a good, there wasn't a, a great energy. Uh, you know, the, I didn't feel like our bench was jumping up and, and, and cheering guys on that we're in and and communicating and calling stuff out. It just it, it, it didn't feel uh, it didn't feel like that same group that's been uh, pretty locked in and bought into what what's been going on. Last two questions. Luke, how's uh, Lonzo shoulder? You think he'll be okay for Christmas? Uh, I'll, I'll I haven't talked to Marco after. I mean, I talked to him at halftime. He said he was good. I asked Zoe. Zoe said he was good. So, uh, you know, they both say that. You just go out there and try to try to win. I'll, I'll go talk to the medical staff after we get done. Now you decided um, to have Josh Hart start for the third time, um, and he ended up leading in rebounds. Kind of tell me about his play tonight. How do you feel about it? Josh was great. He was ready to go. He was tough. He was engaged. Uh, he was attacking the paint. Uh, obviously, his rebounding is is one of the main reasons that he's been earning extra playing time. Uh, he gets in there and mixes it up. Uh, he can guard bigs and wings. Uh, so it's it's. I was very pleased with the way that he played. It's you know this is a league where you uh, you earn what you get, and he's earning those extra minutes right now.